Thanks for joining me. I'm hoping that this short presentation gives you the useful ability to identify what type of pacemaker a patient has from the chest x-ray. I'm going to start with quite a complex example and talk through how we identify the different leads, what the actual leads look like in the flesh and what they look like on the x-ray. And then after that, there are about 10 examples of all the different types of cardiac pacemaker that you might have to identify from a chest x-ray. So this is quite a complicated patient to use as an example. I first want to say that the CAN here, the pulse generator here, this is identifiably an ICD device, but it's very hard to tell that unless you're a specialist. So don't try and tell what sort of device it is from the CAN. Instead, I want you to concentrate on looking at the leads. And I hope you can count that there are one, two, three leads here. Let's trace out the first one. And can you see on that lead, there are thick coils in two locations on it. This is an ICD lead because of these thick coils and the ICD shocks are delivered between the can and these two coils. Now, in fact, we can see this lead is capped and buried over here. And actually there has been a new ICD lead put in this one, just having the coil in the right ventricle as opposed to the superior vena cava. We tend to prefer just putting the coil in the ventricle unless it's a right-sided ICD implant. So the shock is delivered between this coil and the ICD, and we know it's an ICD because of this thick coil. And you can tell the difference between the thick coil and the rest of the lead visually to know that it's an ICD lead as opposed to just one homogeneous appearance. You can see there are four poles on our LV lead. That makes it a quadrupolar lead. They don't have to have four poles, the older leads, or if they have patient has small veins, we might only have two. But we can see that that's the left ventricular lead from the way it goes in through the coronary sinus and round to the uh, left ventricular uh, branch, probably through a, a lateral branch here. This patient has, this is what an ICD lead looks like. This is a thick coil that you're seeing in the bright white with the rest of the lead. The thick coil is no larger in diameter to the rest of the lead, but it's much more radio opaque, which is why it appears so vividly, as opposed to a quadrupolar lead, which has got these very slight bulges around the four poles, which are the bits that are most visible. Now, this patient must be in persistent atrial fibrillation because we would always put an atrial lead in a patient with a biventricular device if they uh, were in sinus rhythm. But there is no atrial lead here. If there were, it would look a bit like this. And you can't really tell the body of the leads apart. The, this is what a pacemaker lead looks like with a little screw on the end. But you can't really separate out the body of the lead. What you're looking at is where it's going and you're looking for the thick bit to indicate that it is an ICD lead. So that's what it, it it interpretation of it looks like. Now I've got quite a few examples for you to have a look through and decide what sort of device this is. So this one is a cardiac resynchronization therapy defibrillator or often called a biventricular defibrillator and there's a failed old ICD lead. Also you can see here that there's an LV aneurysm which is heavily calcified. This patient has had an old anterior infarct. So with that in mind, what device is this? Is there a thick coil here that looks markedly different from the other bits of the lead? Well, it's obviously always a bit challenging with the spine, but I think you can agree with me that this is the same appearance all the way down. Therefore, this is a dual chamber pacemaker and it's a right sided device. What about this one? Well, I think you'll immediately say you can see a thick coil, therefore it is an ICD. Maybe harder to see on this one is the left ventricular lead which comes round. And can you see there are two poles on this? So this is a bipolar left ventricular lead. 
and we can nicely clearly see an atrial lead in. So this is a biventricular defibrillator or cardiac resynchronization therapy defibrillator. What about this one? I think you can see that there is a thick coil here of an ICD. There's an atrial lead. It's right sided. It's a dual chamber ICD. How about this one? We can see there's a quadrupolar lead here in the going to the left side of the heart. We can see that there's an atrial lead and a right ventricular lead. There's no thick coil on it. So it's a biventricular pacemaker. This time we have a single lead and we have two thick coils visible. This therefore is a single chamber ICD. This time we have one, two, and harder to see, three leads. We are limited by the anatomy and this quadrupolar lead has been probably put here because there weren't any good veins to put it down elsewhere. Again, we have a thick coil. So this is a biventricular defibrillator device. So we have one lead. There is no thick coil. It's therefore a pacemaker lead. We wouldn't put an ICD lead in the septum because the shock would be likely miss quite a lot of the left ventricle. So it would always be in the RV apex. Look at the position of the lead at the time of implant. Uh, I think most operators, certainly myself, put uh, an X-ray or do an X-ray at the end. So you can compare this with that. This is a VVIR pacemaker, a single chamber uh, ventricular pacemaker and the lead is in the right ventricular septum. How do you decide if it's apical, septal or RVOT? That's how. This is quite an uncommon type of pacemaker. We have a single lead going into the right atrium. So this is an AAIR single chamber pacemaker. So spot the pacemaker on this. There are no leads going from either side. But if you look here, can you see that this is what a micro pacemaker looks like on a chest x-ray? So this patient has had a leadless micro pacemaker inserted. So again, there isn't a device where we might be expecting it. What could this be? We have a lead, which again has a thick coil on it. This is what a subcutaneous ICD looks like. So this device can't pace, uh, but it can monitor for arrhythmias and shock patients out of arrhythmias. And this lead sits subcutaneously rather than transvenously. And the device sits lower down the chest wall. Well, I hope you found that uh, helpful. Thanks for watching. Please leave me some comments and if you've enjoyed it and found it useful, encourage me to make more of these. Thanks a lot.